So here's one of the millions of problems you're going to face from um, the uh, USA, the West. I'm not going to say it's USA only. They're, they're trying to scapegoat USA. The rest of the West is. I don't know about that, bro. But um, what um, they're doing supposedly is uh, they just seized a tanker from Iran of oil. Because their supplies are being cut off from their sanctions, they're cutting their own supplies off. I mean, they're they're cutting they're cutting themselves off. But this is not the rest of the world doing it. The rest of the world's been kind of like planning their own stuff. But um, supposedly they seized a tanker of oil in Iran, and um, then uh, Iran seized a Greek uh, tanker because of that. And I didn't see that at all in the media. The media didn't tell me that at all. I had to go, I had to go on the web and look up what, uh, look up uh, Russian and Chinese media to find this stuff out. And to be honest, like now that I'm talking about it, I haven't seen anything from the Middle East in a minute. And, and I, I did like post on that the other day, uh, at least on the Facebook, that um, they. Uh, on the Facebook, there were some issues going on with uh, the Middle East, as if there hasn't been for 6,000 years out there. And so, th this is what this is the problem with you being isolated from what's going on. I, I mean, the problem with being isolated from what's going on is so many things. But this is a this is exactly the type of stuff that can happen here. That they will. Uh, not show you and uh, you know I I automatically assume like the logical mathematical calculations from what's happening is they're preparing they, I said this years ago they're preparing for war I said I said decades ago I when bricks came out if bricks wasn't preparing for war then what the hell was the point of bricks Brick, bricks was preparing to defend themselves supposedly and what the hell do they expect to come from defending themselves in war? So, this, you know, this has been a long time. There's a little stepping ladder and the, the, the stairs lead all the way almost up to heaven. And if you can't see the stairs are all the way up there right now, then you can't quite figure it out that um, the stairs are that tall and they've been leading up there for a minute. And I really think, uh, you know, that... That's a lot of what's been going on here. I, wait, what else is seizing of oil tankers about? Yo, uh, who the? What is Iran going to do if if someone just comes and seizes their oil tankers? What is what, Iran is not Iraq. Iraq has not been over. You know, Iraq was overtaken. They killed off Saddam after he did his work, and Iran was not overtaken that I know of I mean I'm not over there I'm not talking to those people I haven't studied them and and seen what they do in secret and what happens over there but as far as I know Iran is still like uh, independent nation and that's probably like pissing a lot of people off that the uh, their tanker was stolen but but I haven't heard of that you haven't heard of that and you're gonna be like you're gonna be asking questions like why is Iran going to war why would Iran go to war against a neighboring country? Just like you're asking that about Russia right now. You're like, why is Russia going to war against a neighboring country? What? Well, a month before that, this place called Kazakhstan, which I told you for eight years was a target to be taken over, was taken over. And, and everyone celebrated its takeover. It took two days. They killed off all the police and leaders, and they took over the nation. The fastest takeover. I don't even think they killed off uh, the... The uh, native Australians that fast. Two days. Two days they just took it over. Uh, although it obviously had been eight years in the making since the movie Borat. And probably before that they were hyping up propaganda to take a dump all over Kazakhstan. And, and obviously they've been <laughs> hyping up uh, to take a dump all over Iran. For I mean they've been dumping all over Iran. <laughs> they've been dumping bombs on Iran. So for how long? How I mean that Middle East war has been like six thousand years, so who knows who knows where it started, when it started, why it started, and who started. I mean some of us might actually know those answers, but uh 
you know, dude, I'm leaving the, leaving the open question for you to figure out on your own. What, what do you guys think is going to happen if, uh, if this country starts jacking freight ships from other nations to uh, provide supplies to their nations? Because they've isolated their nation and they've shut down their supply lines. Sanctions aren't sanctions aren't just sanctions against another nation. Sanctions are where the other nation doesn't give you stuff. And then if the other nation has an ally, that other ally is probably. I mean, wait, they've already been sanctioned. Someone was telling me the other day, I, uh, I'm in Australia. I can't buy a Hawaii phone because it's Chinese. It's like okay, so your choice is buying a Chinese phone or a, a Google Israeli phone. Oh, oh, you got a real choice there. Or you can buy an Apple phone, which the media in America tells you is, is safe and secure. It's safe and secure because they told you it is. None of us know the code in that. No, not a single person knows the entire code in one of those phones. No matter, uh, I'm like a this semi-tech genius. Like it, it, The word tech genius applies to a lot of things. And none of us understand any of it. Like, to be honest, we all understand one small section because it's just so vast. We don't let the word tech genius can easily be, you can easily take a tech genius to his knees and intellect uh, from a different field and be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. Look at this. And, and, and definitely my, my expertise of technology is, is underground, underground all the way, underground all the way. Hell, I was just having a discussion with someone yesterday. They was telling me about some new underground stuff I didn't even realize, but I should have realized because, hell, I was kind of the one who pushed that uh, a platform like that is the next one. Hell, I, I'm pretty sure I said that in videos before. The video games are the next platform for free speech because the Internet was being shut down. And then two years ago, they shut down free speech and video games. You could start reporting people if they say something you don't like. You get kicked out of the game. That didn't happen. <laughs> but video games is free speech for a minute. But it's all like that. And now you don't see this. Now you don't... Where is this media? All I'm hearing about is a school shooting. All I was hearing about before that was um, Johnny Depp. You know, I love Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's a beautiful man. He looks like a great, he, he's a great actor. He plays some great roles. But, but is that what's important when we got these other things going on in this world? Is Johnny Depp, like, uh, yeah, Johnny Depp's that important, like, to me. Like, you know, I got to tell you, a little bit of a fanboy. I love his work. I, I feel sometimes I kind of ish look something like his style. And so I think it's awesome that his style gets pushed out there. But, um, really, come on. Like, there's this whole other stuff going on in this world. And, and the, the most important thing is that they're isolating you from everything else. That's the important thing. And they've been doing this. And I've been talking about this for like a decade now. That's what's been enraging me a lot is... The isolation. And then people wanting to be isolated too. They, they want to crawl into their holes. They want to they want to just act like everything's okay. And it's like, well, you know, like, you can't, you can't always do that. You can't always just act like everything's okay. When I wake up in the morning, getting sick and stuff, you know, like, I can't just act like everything's okay. I got to force myself to eat a little bit of food or something. My stomach's saying... I throw up like a ton of bile. My stomach's saying, hey, we've got all these digestive juices in here. But uh, you're not giving us anything to digest. So we're just going to get rid of it. So what happens? And there's more than that. There's so much more I've seen just in like one small reading that's going on. But it's not available. you got to look up like Russia Today, who's been banned. And I'm surprised I've seen CCTV. The Chinese, uh, Chinese Communist TV uh, on the web, because they were talking about, they're, they're saying a lot of stuff right now, but none of that's getting pushed. It's all about this, this crazy white supremacist. As if we didn't know the white supremacist was some crazy people with guns who's going to shoot some people. Is this breaking news? I mean, I mean, you know, like peace and condolences to families with problems all over the world, no matter what they may be. But um, is that really news? That a, a crazy extremist did some crazy stuff? It's not really. 
in my mind, I'm just like, hey, it's a crazy extremist. Like, whoo, hey, what do you think they was going to do? Sit around and play Othello or something? Man, come on, dude. I, I, I knew crazy extremists when I was a young kid. And like, you know, I, you know, I let people be, let, let people be people and try not to judge. But I was like, man, maybe you shouldn't go around the bars beating up gay people and stuff, right? <laughs>